go. Now 30 minutes because of all this fucking video time. Cox <laughs> <laughs> and I, we're at the fucking bookstore, right? Woo! We're getting fucking books. So we go up to the fucking counter, right? And Cox has his one book out, and I got my fucking four books. And we're waiting there, and the fucking clerk comes up, and this dude is like, Woo! like that, right? He's just fucking queer than the dickens. We didn't like realize <laughs> that first. Like, he's kind of an average dude just working there part time, which is a job, whatever. Cox puts his book down on the counter, and this guy, his name is Mitchie, mind you, so he's gay. <laughs> What's good? He didn't realize he's gay. He's just, how are you guys this morning, this evening? And Cox is like, uh, good. It's kind of like, you know, like fucking, uh, what's our name? Like Bruce Willis. He's like Bruce Willis, like Bruce Willis from Fuck fucking out, Fifth Element there, <laughs> where he meets up with Chris Tucker. He's just kind of like, <laughs> and Mitchie's like, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, really, he never said that, but that's, like, what he was thinking. Like, I could tell. Like, the look on his face, he was just like, yeah. I met a lot of cops in my time. So, cops is just merely trying to purchase this singular book. And this man is just not having that. This man is trying to sell other singular things to cops. Such as <laughs> membership to book books a million. And, like... He's over there like, you know, sir, if you become part of the Books a Million Club, you can say 10% on this book. And Cox is like, no, I don't want to be a member. He's like, you sure you don't want to be a member? And Cox is like, well, you have me in Kentucky. And the guy's like, well, I don't know. I don't think we've spread that far north yet. for you. We have to get your number. I mean, yeah, we'll put your number in our database and we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> and Cox is like, well, no, I don't think so. And this guy's like, well, you could save money, though. And Cox is like, uh, no. And the guy's like, well, you're lost. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> this is book. And he's handed the book in the receipt, but no bag. <coughs> so Cox is like, hey, can I have a bag with this? And the guy's like, really? You want a bag? Cox is like, yeah, I want a bag. Sure, you want a bag? Yes, I want a bag. And he's getting <laughs> rather belligerent as this goes on, as he's going to reach across the counter and strangle the queer man. So, we realized he was gay not by his voice and the way he was talking or his lusting for cops, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> he was wearing, he's not wearing a full length apron, but rather a belly apron. <laughs> With his shirt unbuttoned and opened and a nice gay crucifix with a blue diamond in <laughs> That's how I realized he was gay. Everything else just was sort of like, oh, maybe this guy's testicles just didn't drop. Or something. <laughs> I can't judge him, but no, it was the half apron that said it for me. So Cox is like, yes, I'd like a freaking bag because your books don't have covers. Really? Hey, don't have covers. Yeah, you guys suck. Books are unprotected. <laughs> what? <laughs> unprotected. <laughs> um, okay. So he continues on, takes his book, and he leaves. Which leaves me now with my four books, <laughs> and this man now trying to bait me into becoming a member. <laughs> <laughs> Did he see your shoes? He didn't see my shoes. Oh, see your shoes. Those are my shoes. Oh, yeah. There's nothing gay about those shoes. <laughs> They're kind of gay, but <laughs> maybe a little. Yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to sell you all these different memberships, but we wouldn't give you a bag. His gayness, his gayness rubbed off on your shoes. His gayness precluded him from giving Cox a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless. Maybe he wasn't after Cox's bag. He was after Cox's cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I mean that. <laughs> 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 I'll say, I'll imagine if I had my uniform on, he'd be like, I, I know what Cox wants. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I've had some Cox. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew a lot of Cox. <laughs> but uh, in all reality, I'll thank God this never happened. Talk about what uh, Chrome said. <laughs> what did Chrome say? About the little cigarette thing. Hey, oh, yeah. so anyways, on the counter, all right, they have these little cigarette pens. You know, oh, how crappy and nifty. And Cox and, and uh, Crumb goes, oh wow, this reminds me of those electronic cigarettes we uh, have out in uh, San Diego. And the guy behind the counter, right, is like, oh, yeah, those vapor cigarettes. Yeah, I know about those. Where I'm from, is they got blue tips and they're called blue, like B L U. B -L -U. And Crumb is just like, yeah, okay, well, I'm probably just looking for a fucking cigarette. <laughs> and the guy's like, yeah. And, he's, and Crumb called them uh, e-cigarettes for electronic cigarettes. And the guy's like, e-cigarettes? Oh, I thought you meant ecstasy, silly. <laughs> Once again, he never actually said this, but we could tell in his eyes that that's what he was thinking with his wild gay sex parties he probably had on the weekend. <laughs> Preferably between 11 and 12 on a, on a Saturday in the evening.
I saw it in his eyes. Anyway, I just wanted to So there was that moment where he's just like, oh, fake cigarettes. Well, I have the blue light up one. I like those. Those things look good. Anyway, so I was going to make my purchases. Yeah, I asked nice to go. I need a lot of them. Hmm? Man, I fucking just shut the fuck up. I asked nice the first fucking time. I'm trying to fucking sleep. Hey, can you turn back to my own? All right. Thank you. Oh God! So now we're gonna have to. Um, so we're gonna All right. So anyway, back to the story. Four purchases, right? So let's. I, I got. I got some. Speaking of gay. Okay. Speaking of gay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I like what I got. Why we suck? <laughs> That's probably why he was trying to hit you up. I mean, look at the title. Look, look at the title of this look, book. Look who's on the book. Why we, why suck. we suck. Who is that guy? This is Dennis Leary, you douche. <laughs> and choke. <laughs> why we suck and choke. I mean, come on. Well, You're like a gay buddy. buffet right here. <laughs> uh, I guess it's... What's next to it? What's next to it? Lullaby. Chuck. Lullaby. <laughs> lullaby. Well, he's going to sing me a lullaby. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I don't want to go part of it. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we're going to play a lullaby on your ass. <laughs> now I go up there, and it's just me, him, and Crumb. Crumb didn't abandon me, thank God. I tried to, but we went down my own car. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So it's okay. That's what I said. He never abandoned me. He's a faithful friend. So, I go to make my purchases, and now he's trying to bait me to become a member. And he's like, Do you like to become a member of Book a Million? <laughs> and I was like, you, There are no fucking Book a Million, you fucking freak, in Boston. And he's like, Really? There's not. And I'm like, No, there's not. And he's like, Well, I'll have to check on that. Maybe you can give me my, give me your number and I'll give you a call. No! No, none of that. <laughs> 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 your Jedi mind tricks will work on me. <laughs> So he goes, okay, whatever. So I try to swipe my card, and the damn card machine's like broken. I'm like, it's not reading. And he's like, let me see your card. So instead of like taking the card out of my hand, he gingerly grabs my hand and takes the card out of it. Like, so. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, where's your Purell at? Yeah, kind of like that. Did he really do that? Yeah, he did. Yeah, you just shared him a little. Saw it in his eyes. Once again, he specifically said this, but I saw it. So, anyway, he addressed me with his eyes. I don't know this, so I'll probably say this, but I must have seen it. Alright, so he swipes my card and he hands it back to me. And he's like, just sign here, pretty. And I'm like, whoa. Walk away. <laughs> like, would you like that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> Hands me my bag, my book. Look at Crumb. Look at Crumb again. Bolt for the freaking door. And he's just like, whoa, I'm never going back there. But he's standing in the window. <laughs> And, and then, we drove away. <laughs> and then, that was it. and that's the end of the story, right? That's the very end. Okay, are you sure? I'm not yeah, sure. I lived it. Oh. Me? Sure. Oh, that's my sister. Oh. Yeah, there's pictures of my sister on the front. <laughs> 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 and my fiancé is to follow. That's strange and incestuous. <laughs> I, I just think it was a bicycle. Yeah, it changes every five minutes. Isn't that bad? Yeah. Like if we wait another five minutes, because we're already at 9:40. Are we? Are you related to the bicycle? So no, that that was my bicycle. That's my that's my. So, that's the, the set, like, so, uh, so is that to give the person that you're videoing something to look at? Yeah, yeah, it's like entertainment. <laughs> it's pretty cool, huh? Uh, so, uh, so, hey, no, no, now I'm looking at you. Is that me? Oh yeah, isn't that a sexy picture of me? Look, whoa, whoa, whoa. look. Oh, okay. Why do you have, why do you have a sexy oh, okay. picture of yourself on your phone? Because if I want to call myself, I want to look at my face. Hey, I, There's nothing yeah, wrong with that. I used that. to have a picture of my cock on my phone, but that was just fucking so sending to other girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, I send this picture to my fiance every now and then, so she likes it. So, and when she's looking at my phone, I can just put it on there. Well, anyway, that's the end of the story. We're gonna end with the nipple. Nipple.